Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Nalongo Leticia, and my YouTube channel is called Nalongo Leticia. Please share and subscribe. This is a new YouTube channel where I have decided to come and give you my experience as a um, house help in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, so now today I am going to take you through my experience. Yeah, my experience as a, as a, as a Saudi Arabian house help. Yeah, so first of all, subscribe. If you're watching this video, please subscribe. subscribe. I'll be giving you more and more each and every day. I'm not quite sure because I have just started making this um, video and uh, the, new, the channel is new and the family I'm taking care of is kind of strict. So I'm not so sure about when exactly I'll be loading new videos but I'll let you know as time goes on. So, But I'm going to make sure I always give you the new videos each and every day about my experience. And uh, I'm so happy that I have really started this thing because I have longed for it for a very long time. Uh, my job, uh, I am a house help. Yeah. And to me, it is money making yeah it's just for me here to make money hunting for money because I am kind of ambitious so I do whatever comes that can generate money for me it's what I do it's kind of a modern prison out here so I think that is another thing and I'm just making money out of it how long have I been here I have been here for eight months now yeah I have been here for eight months now this okay they are complete eight months this month that I'm, I'm I'm in right now it is the ninth month yeah I have gone for now it is eight it's now eight months soon becoming nine months and um, the time that I am left to have here I am left with uh, one year and uh, one year and uh, three months to go oh my god they're kind of much but I think I'll go with it yeah am I going to renew the this the 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 the, the the contract when I finish this one, no, I am not going to renew any contract here. Mm. Saudi Arabia, it's kind of hard here. It's really hard, and sometimes it also depends on the family you're working for. Sometimes it depends on the challenges that you're facing, the home challenges. Now, like me, I miss my children, my family. It's kind of hard yeah how did i get this job oh my god um how did i get in saudi arabia mm, i had an advert on a, on a tv that was advertising people that wants to go to saudi arabia yes and uh, i went there i took my passport luckily i already had my passport so I took there my passport and within one month, I was already in Saudi Arabia. Like one month. It took me one month. I got in Saudi Arabia here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of easy, by the way. It was kind of easy. What company did I use to come here in Saudi Arabia? I used Infinity. Yeah, I came with Infinity. Hi, Infinity members. I know. You will come and watch this video. Infinity, if you know you coming from Infinity, I used Infinity Uganda or Infinity Recruitment Agent. They are found in Mango. They are good people, by the way. If you haven't tried them or if you have anyone to recommend them to, please do because they are good people. So, 
they recommend they 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 brought me here and it was okay that's what i can say um why am i doing this job ha what am i doing it to generate money yeah to generate money to support me and my dreams and my ambitions because i have a lot yeah uh how much is my salary uh i am getting 900 real that is saudi arabian money in dollars it is 240 it depends 240 30 20 it depends on the rate of the dollar so yeah that's what i'm getting right now here and um in ugandan shillings that is 850 860 840 it still depends on the rate of the dollar that it, the way how it is at that particular time but that is how much i'm earning right here and then my daily routine the house chores that i do i wake up in the morning i i wake up in the morning 7 a.m yeah i wake up 7 a.m 7 30 a.m i start doing the house chores if it is winter time like right now i uh vacuum the house like cleaning using the vacuum machine i wash the dishes basically i do everything inside here i am not having any other help i am one maid inside the house and i'm taking care of five people and sometimes six sometimes ten it depends on how many people come and how long they want to stay yeah and um after that i clean the toilets that job that the the, the chore that i hate most clean the toilet and um i cook breakfast for people for tool and the for tool that i cook here it's not that i have to make breakfast and i put it here for everyone to come and eat no everyone eat at his or her own time so i just always have to cope up with that uh, and uh, in the evening i cook dinner and then i go back to bed at 11 30 p.m so in short i'm sleeping for eight hours don't do too much calculations <laughs> sleeping for eight hours and um uh what do i love about my job it is the expenditures i don't have rent i don't have food i don't have anything more to spend apart from sending back, back the money home oh my god yeah that is the hardest one but yeah we always try our best i think that's all i can say sending money back home it's the only expenditure that i have but food rent nothing to spend and then um what do i hate about my job oh my god first of all less payment yeah we do a lot of work we do a lot of chores we do a lot of things that needs to be paid more like most especially if you're one maid inside the house if you're two or three because they are there still they're there that are maid but if you're one or two oh my god we need a lot we need more payment more like ugandans they are being paid less or let me say africans and filipino indians they are being filipino indians pakistan they're being given more how more than how africans are but anyway it's okay nothing much to do about it another thing that i hate is no day off hey there is nothing like a day off you always have to work and work and get tired and work and work and work oh another thing that i hate is sending money home hey it is so expensive sending money home here and they do they have a lot of charges on us besides the money being less the charges are much i hate that 
and then boredom oh my god you'll be like you're in the forest you'll be like you're in a lonely world you're not talking to anyone you are not sharing anything with anyone some people go mad yeah some people go mad but anyway i am here and i thank god for that i am still live and kicking another thing is the distance with the relationship with our loved one at home now like me i miss my children so much but i have nothing to do about that so i just have to endure each and everything that i am experiencing right here ah i miss my children walking up and down hey my god walking up and down waking up early time in the morning and then you wake up and feel like oh my god i have to do what i did yesterday doing the same thing wearing the same clothes oh, and being humiliated i'll say that and uh, the supervision is too much oh my god you breathe you sit you drink you do that you do this the supervision is a lot like the supervision about a camera it can be a little bit easier but a supervision with the eyes hey you people you should never deal with that it is a lot too bad yeah and what chores do i hate doing i hate washing the toilet i hate washing the dishes yeah washing the toilet and washing the dishes i hate those two and uh hi jesus christ what motivates motivates me is thinking about my children thinking about my family at home and uh, my relationship with god i really love it i pray every morning i always pray for god to give me strength each and every day and i really thank god that god does and my prayer to you my subscribers whoever is listening to me whoever has taken a chance to listen is to be strong to do whatever you have to do so that you get back home mostly those house helps please subscribe like and share bye bye